Why, hello, Ella. I hope you've been doing well lately. What are you up to right now? If possible, I would like to ask you a favor. I'm in a bit of a pickle, and I have no one else to ask for help. Oh, hi, Martha. It's great to hear from you, and I've been doing pretty good lately. Aside from the fact I feel like I'm melting in the summer heat. <laughs> How can I help you? Yes, it's been quite hot in the city lately. The heat has been making the garbage smell even worse than usual. I feel like I'm living in a dumpster. You see, my car is in the shop at the moment, and I need to go somewhere, and that's too far to walk. As you know, public transportation these days is too dangerous, so I wouldn't dare to ride it. I was hoping you could be a doll and drive me somewhere. You have your license, right? Oh, yeah, I have my license. I actually just got it recently. I never thought I'd need it living in the city, but my dad insisted I get it. I just passed my test last year. Driving here is insane, though. <laughs> I feel like people have no patience at all. Oh, I feel the same. But unfortunately, when you get to my age, walking becomes a burden, and I wouldn't dare to take a chance riding the subway and getting assaulted by some young hoodlum. So what do you say? Would you mind driving me? Yeah, no problem. Where do you want to go? Well, actually, I heard about a sale at West Department Store, and I want to get there before all the good items get bought out. I'm looking to get a new bag, or maybe even a new fragrance or two. You know how important it is to present yourself these days. Okay, sure. When were you thinking of going? I need to go as soon as possible. I'd like to go now. Oh, um, sorry, but I'm actually working right now, and I can't leave. I, I would have asked to take the afternoon off, but I'm actually out of vacation days until next month. Do you think you could wait until the weekend? You can't just say it's a family emergency. If I don't get there soon, everything will be gone, and there won't even be any point in going anymore. What kind of company would say no to a family emergency? I'm sure they could survive without you just for a couple of hours. I'm actually working on a huge project and I'm set to have a client meeting about it in an hour. I wish I could, sorry. But even if I didn't, I'd feel kind of bad saying it was an emergency. What if later down the line there was actually an emergency? It would be weird that emergencies are always coming up. Oh, fine. I guess we have no other choice but to wait two days. But I expect you to come first thing in the morning to come pick me up. The longer we wait, the less of a chance there will be. I'll get the things I want. Oh, and by the way, you'll be driving my neighbor with me as well. I told her about the sale, and she wants to tag along and see what she can find. Afterwards, she needs to pick up a few things at the supermarket so you can drive her there too. Oh, well, I suppose that would be okay. But how long do you think everything is going to take? I have plans in the late afternoon to see my friends, and I don't want to be late meeting them. Of course, I want to help you out and your neighbor. Don't you think it's a bit rude to be rushing us already? Do you speak to my son with the same attitude? I sure hope not. He's a handsome boy and can get any girl he wants, need I not remind you. Plus, he's very privy to the word of his sweet mother. I'm really sorry. I, I didn't mean for it to seem like I wanted to rush you. I was just trying to get an idea of how long you wanted to be out so I could let my friends know beforehand if there's a chance of me being late to meet them. Well, then why don't you just tell them you may be late anyway? If you're on time, it won't matter and no harm done. In any case, we won't be more than a few hours. It all depends on how early you get here and how fast you can make it to the places we want to go. Sure, okay, yeah, I guess I'll tell them there's a chance of me being late, just in case. That's right. I've told my neighbor all about you, and she's been quite curious about meeting you. Oh, great. I love meeting new people, so I'm excited to meet her, too. She has a son with a girlfriend around the same age as you. She's just the sweetest little angel, always helping my neighbor with everything and bringing her everywhere she wants. That's great. Anyway, I should be getting back to work. I'll be sure to text you when I'm on my way. Great. Don't be late. Hey, Martha. I'm pulling up to your house now. You can come out whenever you're ready. My neighbor Barbara and I are coming now. 
Thank you for picking us up, dear. This is my neighbor, Barbara. She's been very excited to meet you. Hello, dear. Thanks for picking us up. It's nice to meet you. It's great to meet you. No problem. I'm really happy to help. Let me just put in the directions to West Apartment Store into the dash navigation, and then we can hit the road. One second, please. Wow, I've never been in such a beautiful car. The dashboard is bigger than the TV I have at home. <laughs> yes, Ella, this is truly a luxurious car. I had no idea you had something like this. It must have cost you a fortune. Thank you. It's actually not mine, but I wish it was. It's actually my dad, since he was the one who encouraged me to get my license. He's letting me borrow it for the time being to get used to driving. I'm saving up for my own right now, but I definitely won't be able to afford one like this. <laughs> Martha, let's take a selfie in the car. I have a better idea, Ella. I need you to pull over. Um, there's not really a place to pull over right now. Why do you want me to pull over anyway? Because I want to take a picture with Barbara standing next to the car to post on Facebook. Anywhere is fine, so just hurry up. I need to show everyone as soon as possible. Uh, okay. Looks like there's a parking lot up here I can pull into one second. Thanks so much. Hurry up and send me that pic. I won't post it to my Insta too. I will right after I post. I want to be the first one to post it. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you two are enjoying the ride. I wish I could let you drive, but my dad gave me strict orders not to let anyone else but me drive. Maybe someday when I get my own. I'd be too nervous to drive something like this. Plus, being driven around feels way more luxurious. <laughs> feels like I have my own private chauffeur or something. That's right. Today you'll be Ella, the chauffeur. Make it snappy, driver. We don't have all day. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sure. Well, we still have a bit of time to go before we get there, so make yourselves comfortable. Oh, dear, we will. Yeah, we sure will. Martha, you've hit the jackpot. You realize that, don't you? This girl definitely comes from money. I mean, look at this car. I feel like a celebrity driving in it. Tell me about it. I had no idea she had this kind of money. My stupid son better not do anything to mess this up. How did you not know about this before? I mean, she never really showed any signs of being rich. She has a normal job in marketing and never wears any designer clothes or anything. Although, what she's wearing today seems pretty nice. But she said this is her father's car anyway, so he must be the one who's filthy stinking rich. You never asked her or your son what she does? I never cared enough to ask. I usually have a sixth sense to tell when someone is rich and nothing gave me the impression that her family had any money. I don't want to ask her now because that would be too obvious that I'm interested in maybe planning something. You're right. Maybe it's better to ask your son if her family is loaded or not. Either way, you need to make sure this girl doesn't go anywhere. Think of the possibilities. You may never need to work another day in your life again. Or even better, you can get them to buy you a new house. That's right. I need to approach this carefully. I can't outright ask for these things the second I find out she has money. Hmm. Well, the first thing I need to do is see to it that they get married as soon as possible. And then that's when I can start trickling in the wealth from her side. Great idea. I'm so jealous you're going to have a life of luxury. Who knows, you may even get a car like this in the near future. I sure hope so. One thing's for sure, though. I have to put on an act to be the nicest future mother-in-law in the world from now on. All right, let's stop secretly texting. She's going to get suspicious of us if we're giggling in the back seat to one another. Right, it looks like we're almost here anyway. Time to make some small talk. I'm really glad you could find everything you wanted. I was afraid everything in the sale would be gone, but you two make out like bandits. <laughs> yes, dear. And that's all thanks to you and this wonderful car. Thanks to this car? <laughs> what do you mean? 
Oh, uh, um, I, I meant thanks to you for driving us, of course. Being able to ride in such a beautiful car, was this the cherry on top? Yes, I really appreciate this. I've already gotten 20 likes on my Instagram of me and Martha's picture. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad I could be of help. Barbara, Martha mentioned that you wanted to stop by a grocery store quick to pick up a few things. Sorry to speed things up a bit, but I actually have plans later in the day to meet some friends, so I want to make sure that you're able to get everything you need before then. Oh dear, don't you worry about that. I'm sure Barbara can get those things some other time. Isn't that right, Barbara? Oh yes, yes. Why don't you just head on back home to get ready to meet your friends? You've done enough. Yes, more than enough, dear. We really appreciate you taking out your day to drive to the store with us. Oh, are you sure? I think we can make it as long as there's no traffic. I already let them know ahead of time that I might be late, so it's no problem. No, no, you don't want to be rude to your friends. Just head back to the house. Don't worry about me. It wasn't anything important anyway. Plus, there's nothing you can't buy on the internet these days, am I right? Okay, if you say so. I'll drop both of you off, then head out. Thank you for being understanding. No, thank you for your time. Yes, sweetheart. Thank you so much. Hayden, could you come and talk to me for a minute? I have something that I want to talk to you about. What? I'm tired from today. You know that I was out late last night. What do you need? If I say to come talk to me, just do it. You don't need to bicker at me. I know you were out late last night. I had a question after spending some time with Ella yesterday. Do you know how much money her family has? Ella's family? What about them? How would I know how much money they have? You're going to marry the woman and you don't know how much money she has? What would that change for me? Does it matter how much money we have? Do you think we're just getting married out of convenience for money? Do you think that this is what is motivating me? No, but everything you see from her now will be yours when you get married. I suppose you could think about it like that. Shouldn't you see what her house looks like and meet her parents? Her house? Ella lives alone. Her house has three floors. I believe her father built it all himself. He seems to work very hard. He built it himself? Did she say how much money that took? No, and that would be a weird question to ask someone. Nice house, how much did it cost to build it? Who asks that? How could you not know any of this? Telling me you have everything figured out, but you don't know anything. Geez, but why are you so curious about this all of a sudden? Why are you asking about this so early in the morning? Ella picked me and Barbara up yesterday to go shopping. My car's in the shop and I didn't feel like taking the subway anywhere. I didn't really think anything of it at the time. I assumed she would just pick us up in whatever car her or her family had at the house. But when Ella got to pick me up, she arrived in this really nice car. I'm not too good with cars, so I wasn't able to say anything about it. You would have seen it before, right? Do you know what model it is? Oh, yeah, her dad is letting her drive his car for the time being. It's a Mercedes. Mercedes? Is that like an imported car or something? Do you seriously not know what a Mercedes-Benz is? How would I know? So it's really just a domestic car, nothing fancy? It looked gorgeous, and the inside was stunning. I just figured it was some foreign luxury car. They can get expensive, but I'm pretty sure the one her dad has isn't anything crazy. I think it's just like the base model or whatever. I don't really know much about cars. Oh, I thought it was something that cost a million dollars or something. I had my hopes up. Everything she was wearing that day even looked expensive, but I guess it wasn't anything special. Her bag looked really expensive, too. Do you know if it's designer? I really don't know. She's never drawn any attention to anything that she wears. Why would I even look into that? Anyway, I have no idea. None of that matters to me. She doesn't have anything special. Just leave it at that. I'm too tired to talk about all of this right now. 
Why don't you think any of this matters? When you get married, you will end up combining all your finances. It really is something you should be looking into. If you're so curious, then you should go ask her instead of gossiping about it with me. Hayden, that would make me look bad, you know. How do I just outright ask her questions like that? I would look materialistic. But aren't you materialistic anyway? Just go ahead and find out yourself if you're so curious. I'm going to bed. Don't wake me up. Please, don't call me again. Fine, but don't expect me to just drop it. I will keep looking into it further on my end, even if it doesn't matter to you. Thanks again for the other day, Ella. It meant a lot to us that you drove us all the way out there. No problem. It was great to spend some time with you and Barbara. Let me know if you ever need me to bring you anywhere in the future. I'm actually glad you said that. Perfect timing, actually. I was hoping that you were free Sunday morning to bring me to another store really quick. Hmm, uh, let me check one sec. Yep, I'm free in the morning. Is it okay if I come by around nine or so? That would be perfect. Thank you, dear. See you then. Hi again. I'm sorry for bothering you like this on the weekend. You should be resting from work. Not at all. I really didn't have anything going on this morning. Nothing with Hayden? You didn't plan to go out with him? We have plans to go out a bit later for a movie. We'll go out for coffee and watch that new horror movie that just came out. Everyone has been talking about it and I keep seeing posts on social media about it. A horror movie? You like that kind of thing? I wouldn't expect you to. Of course it is scary, but that makes it all the more fun. I need to switch up what I watch every once in a while. I get bored of the same thing easily. But really, half the fun is just watching Hayden get scared. <laughs> He's the one that really hates scary movies. When we go in theaters to watch something like that, he can barely keep his eyes open. He's had a weak heart since he was very young. He could never keep his eyes open when we watched any of the Halloween classics, let alone compose himself whenever we encountered someone in a scary costume in real life. I guess he carried it on with him. That could really take a toll on you. Don't watch anything too scary. Keep them for special occasions. Sure thing. I don't watch them too often. Really, only when a new one comes out. They tend to come out in long series, so you get used to the plot and everything anyway. Hmm, where are we? Oh, I think this is the right area. Is this the store you wanted to go to? That one on the left? I think this is right, yes. I heard that it was a place right next to a lot of construction going on. I think that's the construction site over there, right? Oh, yeah, this construction site. Mm, this might make parking a bit difficult, though. Oh, wait, perfect. I'll park right over there. What? Where do you see a spot? That parking over by the construction site has someone guarding it. Will that work? Oh, yes, it's all right. I actually think I know that person. What? How do you know that guy? We're in the middle of nowhere. Just because of my dad. I've seen him around. I've gotten quite used to these types of construction sites from growing up around them. Wait a second while I get out and see if I can talk to him. He should let us park here for a few minutes. Hey, you can't park here. Please get out. Hey, Marco, it's me. Oh, Ella, is that you? Yes, it's me. I'll just be here for an hour if that's okay. No, make that 30 minutes. Is it alright if we park here just for that long? Ah, no problem. It's alright. It's my lunchtime, so there won't be any trucks needing to get in. But why are you over here in this area? It's been quite a while since I've seen you. Did you come to see your father? No, actually, but why are you over here watching the parking? Is my dad over here with you too? A bunch of our usual personnel dropped out this weekend. Your father was dragged away somewhere else. I'm not too sure what I'm doing over here either. Normally, I'm in other areas, as you may know. Anyway, if you aren't here to see your father, what are you up to? My boyfriend's mother needed to get something at the store, so I drove her out here for a few. There was something specific she wanted to try and find. I didn't see a problem with helping her out. A store over here? No, oh, uh, she must be talking about the outlet store next to here, right? Yeah, that's right. Do you know a good way to walk there? 
If you go over that way, you should be able to walk straight and end up right in front of it. But while you're here, do you want to go and see your father? We could go have something to eat. Oh, no, I can't. Maybe another time. Ah, you said that you were with your boyfriend's mother, right? Yeah, that's right. Do you know where exactly my dad was off to today? He didn't mention that he was going to be somewhere unusual. Oh, it's not completely unusual for him to be off somewhere. Being this type of company, he has to go around and meet people sometimes. This work we're doing right now is for the town, but sometimes he has to visit potential sites and survey what we might be able to contribute to a new area. That makes sense. I apologize. Now that I'm out of the house, he doesn't exactly keep me in the loop about everything that his job has grown to involve. We should get together sometime with him so we can actually talk about it. That is true. We should schedule something. Are you free to meet in two weeks? I could bring my family and you could bring your father and mother and we could catch up again. It's been pretty long since I was around your family. Well, at least compared to how it was when we were growing up. I would love that. But actually, we were meeting with my boyfriend's family in two weeks. It will be the first time that he's meeting my family formally, and vice versa for me and his parents. He really hasn't been to my house either, so it's important that we can all see eye to eye about what our future will look like together. We, we want to be as transparent as possible. I don't see anything crazy happening, but it's still important that we're serious. Oh, sure. Sorry. I shouldn't have asked. You let me know when you're free, and we can do something. Also, good luck with your meeting. Go ahead with what you need to find your mother-in-law. Oh, but wait, uh, before I forget, your father has been talking a lot about you and those marriage plans with, uh, I think his name is Hayden? Oh, really? Yes, his name is Hayden, but he usually doesn't have a lot to say about it around me. He's a bit sad about you moving on, but just wants the best for you. He talks a lot about what kind of daughter you've been to him. Oh, I'm sure. Well, try not to get hurt working. Be safe. Oh, it's no big deal. I have a grasp of most things around here. Of course. Well, see you later. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting in here. That was someone I hadn't seen in a long time. Oh, no, it's okay. But who was it? How do you know the people that work in this area? Even someone that old? It's just one of my father's long-term acquaintances. My father does construction work. Your father? He does construction for a living? Yep. He's someone that has been working with my dad for 30 years. He's even someone I knew in my childhood that would hang out with him. You didn't know that he did construction work? I guess it's not something you would speak to Hayden about. Oh, wow. Yes, that's something I'm just finding out. I can tell you more about it sometime later. It's really meant a lot to me, so involved with it growing up. I, I don't think most children would be able to say that regarding their parents' careers. Anyway, he told me that the story he wanted to stop by is just over in that direction. Okay. But wow, we really got lucky that he was there. I wouldn't dare be caught in the middle of a construction site, but beats me. Hmm? Huh? What did you say? Nothing. I will follow you. Barbara, red alert! This is an emergency. What's wrong? Did someone die? No, even worse. We've been tricked. Ella's family doesn't have any money. Her dad is a measly construction worker. Huh? How could that be possible? That's what I want to know. I have no idea what's going on here, but we just went to one of the sites where his father was apparently doing construction. Construction is the lowest form of a career in this society. It's reserved for only thugs and idiots that couldn't make it in the real world. I don't get it. How could she have been driving that super nice car the other day then? I have a couple theories and none of them are good to be honest. The first is she probably just rented the car for the day to impress us. She wanted to come off as high class to impress the two of us before she gets into the family. She was trying to trick us to steal our family's money. Oh, but isn't that what you were trying to do? Oh, shut up, Barbara. Don't change the subject here. We need to get to the bottom of this. The other thing I'm thinking, and I hope this isn't true, you know I've always heard that people in construction have ties to the mafia. Is her father a criminal? If what she says is true and her father actually does own that car, 
There is no way he could have bought it with just a lowly construction salary. The money he used must have been through extortion or drugs. The nefarious acts he must have done to get his wealth are unthinkable. My word, do you think that's really possible? I'm sure we can't rule it out. One thing for sure, my son should not be marrying a girl who comes from that kind of background. How could I accept someone like that into my family? What could I say when introducing them? Hello, this is my daughter-in-law who is the child of a crime boss. It's scandalous! That would be unthinkable. What do you plan on doing now? I need some time to think. I can't rush into this even though there's no possible way I could ever be wrong about my assumptions. I think right now it's best to bide my time and wait for the right opportunity to strike. That's just like you, Martha. Such a good way of approaching things. I hope for your sake your son does marry that vile little wench. Be careful, though. Who knows what her father is capable of if you insult his daughter? Leave it to me. So, I heard that you went out with my mom again today. Yeah, she was saying that she wanted to buy some flowers, so I went along with her. She told me that the exact flowers she wanted were at some outlet store, so we went there. She should have just gone with me. I didn't think that would be something that she would go and call you up for. I apologize if she was bugging you again. She was saying that you slept in so you couldn't go with her. Try and get up a bit earlier. Getting to the weekend just to sleep all morning isn't exactly normal. You should value your time. During the week, I have to get up at dawn just to go to work. I should be able to sleep more on the weekend. I'm trying to replenish all the sleep I'm not getting normally. I would say that is healthy enough. That's a little funny. Just try to get up a little earlier and you'll be fine. If you spend every night playing games, then of course you'll lose a lot of sleep. But the time I spend playing games after work is really precious to me. I need that type of healing to recover. When we get married, I don't want to see that type of lifestyle from you. I'm being serious here. I got it. I'll start waking up a bit earlier. Thank you anyway for taking my mom out and that it wasn't me. But I will go ahead and tell her to lay off you for a while. You don't mean that. It's going to be routine that'll help your mom with things after we get married. Giving her a few rides won't be an issue. But also, instead of saying that you could be a little bit more proactive, I won't be able to give her rides 100% of the time. Okay, okay, I will. That is true. But Ella, can I ask you something that I've been thinking about? It's not something I'm really curious about, uh, but that time I was with my mom, she wanted to ask. She was saying that we're going to get married, but I don't know anything about you. I don't think there's much to know, though. <laughs> Anyway, what is it? You don't have to be all formal. You can just get to the point when you ask. Is your family pretty well off? Like, do you have a lot of money? What? What do you mean by that? Honestly, I never have had any interest in asking you, but she was saying that the financial considerations surrounding marriage weren't to be taken lightly. I mean, yes to your question, but that question is kind of weird. Asking if I'm living well? I don't think most people would come out and ask someone that. Really? The question was kind of weird? Yeah, just kind of strange. But I do see why she would be curious. Talking about that kind of stuff is really uncomfortable, although I do understand where she's coming from by asking. Yeah, even me just asking now is making me uncomfortable too. But she didn't ask, so it wasn't something I was going to ignore. Are you able to give me any details about your background, even roughly? We won't have any problems in getting married. It's made up of my parents' assets, so I can't tell you what it all exactly consists of. After I moved out, they didn't really involve me in anything related to it anymore. It just started out with me not being worried about any debt. I was able to live well as a child and then go to college. I was able to do most of anything that I wanted if it meant that I was preparing myself to be successful. If she's curious about it, I can arrange to have her and my father meet each other. Do you think she would be interested in talking to him about that? Are you sure that would be okay? I'll bring it up to him soon. Anything that she's curious about will probably end up being stuff related to that. I don't want my mom to be a problem. I'm really sorry. It's not a problem. You don't have to be sorry about anything. 
I think I regret not already mentioning it. Plus, I haven't really told much of my personal matters to you as well. We'll have that meeting soon, so let's plan to bring it up then. Uh, that sounds good. Well, uh, we probably talked about this enough right now. Uh, so very uncomfortable. Yeah, it's uncomfortable, but I think it's essential for us to have an open conversation about these things. After all, we're considering spending our lives together. You're right. It's just not the typical kind of conversation you'd have when dating. True, but marriage brings a whole new set of responsibilities and considerations, so let's keep talking. Is there anything you'd like to know about my family or background? Well, you mentioned your parents' assets. Can you tell me more about your family dynamics and how you grew up? Sure. I grew up in a fairly stable environment. My parents worked hard and we never faced any major financial struggles. We lived comfortably and they always emphasized the importance of education and hard work. That sounds nice. Uh, what about your relationship with your parents? We've always had a good relationship. They were supportive of my decisions, even when I chose a career in a field they might not have fully understood, but they always valued my happiness and encouraged me to pursue my passions. That's wonderful. It's important to have supportive parents. My parents have been supportive too, in their own way. What was your upbringing like? It was a bit different. My parents had a more hands-off approach as I got older. They wanted me to be independent and make my own choices. It wasn't about financial control, it was about empowering me to be self-sufficient. That's interesting. It sounds like they wanted you to take charge of your own life. Exactly. They believed that true success comes from personal growth and learning from experiences. So, they let me explore different paths without imposing too many restrictions. Seems like we both come from families that prioritize our well-being. Definitely. Now, about your career. You mentioned working in a construction-related field. Can you tell me more about what you do? I don't work in construction company, but my father founded the one he works at right now. I could have went into it, but I decided to pursue my own thing. What did you end up deciding to do? I work in marketing for a tech company. I've always been fascinated by the ever-evolving world of technology, and marketing allows me to combine creativity with strategic thinking. It's challenging, but I enjoy the fast-paced nature of the industry. <laughs> that is impressive. It sounds like we both have demanding jobs that require dedication and passion. Yes, but it's crucial for both partners to understand each other's professional commitments, especially when considering marriage. I appreciate your honesty about your family's financial situation. It's not an easy topic to discuss, but it's necessary. Definitely. And don't worry too much about your mom. I know she means well, and I'm happy to help out wherever I can. Hello. These are my parents. It is a great pleasure to have everyone here today. Hello. We've heard a lot about you all. Nice to meet you. It seems that we're meeting due to a lovely relationship between us. You have a wonderful daughter. Ella must have been raised well. You should be very proud. Oh, thank you very much. It would only be Hayden to be so humble about his well-rounded upbringing. The love he has for Ella is the same way. So anywho, I think we're all very excited to be here, but while we're all busy the same, we should get going with what we have come together to discuss. Is it okay if I start out with a few questions? Yes, uh, but if I may touch on something first, Ella had mentioned that you were concerned about the financial arrangements of the marriage. She made it out to seem that you were a little worried about this. Oh, well, yes, I, I would say so. If there would be any miscommunications when it comes to marriage, then it all won't go over smoothly. The best marriages are between two people that are the most similar. Doesn't that make the most sense? Well, I'm not sure we all feel that way, but we're willing to listen to your side of this. We're the kind of normal household that doesn't like to bring up hard things to talk about and can end up still living a normal life, but you can see that Ella isn't like that. It really doesn't seem that you will think the same way as I will about this. What about Ella? What exactly are we talking about here? I was thinking whether I should bring this up today or not. 
I really dwelled on it before coming here, but being something that will determine their child's future, I know I shouldn't sit on my hands and pass it over. I think you should just know what I'm thinking outright without any meddling in the middle. Yes, go along and say whatever you need, please. I am a little ashamed, but I will say it. Ella and I went out a little while ago and ran into an acquaintance of Ella's father. Ella, don't you remember? Of course. We met Marco the other day at one of the sites. They didn't mention anything to you? They didn't say anything in particular. How could my friend just meet someone's daughter and not say anything? Jeez. He must have forgotten. He had replaced you for field service over the weekend, said that he was just randomly assigned to parking management. Someone said they were busy and couldn't show up. Wouldn't any of you also have went to help? Anyway, please answer this. Did you meet one of the directors? Director? I didn't know who he was, but I assumed he was one of the workers, according to Ella. He was someone that you've worked with for about 30 years. That's correct. 30 years in the same workplace. We've grown to really understand each other. But uh, what does this have to do with this marriage? Do you happen to know who this person is? No, not at all. What connection could I possibly have with that construction worker? What I'm saying is that a construction job is work that you've been doing for over 30 years that requires no formal workplace. I'm just saying that maybe that sounds more like doing chores rather than good work. I don't exactly have a bias toward any job, but there needs to be at least some good income involved. Doesn't work that involves your body mean having some extenuating variables to consider? I understand that you wouldn't know, but hasn't your wife had to live a pretty hard life up to this point? What are you saying right now? What do you mean that I've lived a hard life? Of course I understand that you wouldn't want to be looked down on in this situation. Even someone that didn't come from a lot could come out and live a balanced life. What I'm worried about is if you both come from a poor background that you might not be able to lend a hand in this marriage when the time comes to it. It has been a worry of mine. What in the... Is that something that you've been worried about? You be quiet. Don't interrupt us right now. But Dad, I shouldn't let her talk to you like that. Hayden and I discussed this coming up before now, yes, but I was not prepared for it to go down this route. I don't want this to upset you. Yes, listen to your father, okay? Is there anything else that you wanted to bring up? Um, there really wasn't anything else that I wanted to bring up, but I wanted you both to promise me something before these two get married. The promise will be that you actually have to financially assist if any troubling situation arises. To be honest, after finding out what work you did, I worried about whether this marriage was going to be the right decision. Financially, this seems like a burden. Although, after seeing how well Ella holds herself and what parents you two must be, there was no way that I could object. However, this needs to be fair. My side of the family cannot hold the burden of assisting the marriage alone if you want us to both have equal say. That is kind of absurd of you to be demanding of my parents. Obviously, they will want to be involved in any arrangement that we make involving both of our families. When it comes to the wedding, we will surely be able to split up responsibilities to ensure that it goes smoothly. I am not just talking about the wedding here. I am talking about long term. As we get older, there will be more expenses we have to pay not only for our children, but for ourselves too. If we have no money to contribute to our children's marriages and lives with their new partners, who is to say we can't even support ourselves? That makes sense, but I am not sure why you are arguing for this right now in this situation. If we had brought both our families together for this meeting, then we would have the mutual understanding that we are ready for such an obligation. But I guess that my parents can clarify this for you if they would like. So? Are you two able to hold that kind of promise? What you are arguing here is interesting, given that you barely know us. Well, I have a question. Because you are saying that you know our jobs and economic situations so well, we can't leave out not hearing about yours. What have you and your husband's situation been like? I mean, we haven't had the most successful life, but we haven't done anything to harm the kids. I am still working in a little factory at the moment. 
it's not that important, but the business might have a small connection to the work that Ella's father does. My husband actually delivers construction materials. So it seems like the both of you must be in charge of handling quite a lot of assets. Well, I mean, we have our own house and we currently live with zero debt. If we would stop working, then even without reaching into our savings, we would still have our middle class assets and property. I believe that if you two both worked hard, it would be possible too, even without the help of the children. Why wouldn't you want any help from your children? If you've helped your child so much, wouldn't you expect them to want to help you in return after so many years of success? Yeah, why would we want to do that? You mentioned that you are delivering construction materials. Uh, what kind of materials? Do you have a business card? It is obviously a small enterprise, but operations are going very well. Uh, this is my business card. Hmm, I don't think I've heard of it before. I'll look into it. Here's my business card as well. Oh, what kind of field worker would have a business card? I think that's all right. We won't ever need to be introduced to anyone to do any work. This is the company that I work for. I'm a chief executive. I handle nearly everything along with a few other directors. Oh, chief executive? I thought you were just one of the members of the construction staff. The guy that you saw when you were with Ella is a director. He is one of the people that helped start this company. I work with him and a few other people in the field as we run the company. And up to now, he has supported me, so I treat him as a friend that I can rely on. What kind of director in a company handles parking at a construction site? I am not sure what you are insisting is true. Mom, just stop. Why would you just assume they're lying? You know, all they had to do was give some money, go to a printing station, and then have someone sell it to them. You can get anything printed, can't you? You can even get a presidential business card printed out for nothing. Miss, being worried about our financial lives as a parent seemed justified at the beginning. There were some things that you misunderstood, but after learning the truth, I thought that you would stop worrying. We even tried to blow over some things on our side for this to work out. You have been trying hard to misinterpret what Ella is saying, even thinking that she was in the wrong. But right now, what you're saying has been taken entirely too far. You're saying these are all lies? Are you saying that we have gathered here today as liars? That's not what I'm saying. Isn't what you are saying now a little bit out of the blue? Grab anyone off the street and ask them the same questions. What kind of president in a company works out in a field managing parking? I'm not sure that's what you call that kind of person. We do everything in this company, even if that means having to work in the field. We're the kind of company that shares all of the same hardships as anyone would while working in the field and we will continue to operate the company that way. Whether you believe our financial circumstances or my career or not, I think that this dinner has arrived at a point where we cannot continue. I think it would be amiable to end it here. Please stop bringing more things up. There's nothing else to say. I agree. Ella, we will follow you out. We need to talk back at the house. Okay, but mom, Dad, please excuse what she said first. What? You're all heading out now? You're really leaving? Well, some people really have no backbone. Honey, stop. You can't even apologize. Why do you keep going on with this? If I want to know something, I am going to ask. Their lies are coming out, so they are trying to escape and evade my questions. Do you not see that? What lies? You're the only one being strange right now. How embarrassing. Just wait here. If he really is the president of a company, he would have come here in a nice car. Let's wait and see if we see one. Uh, what are you saying? Just wait and see. I'm sure that they come in a rundown car. Let's just wait to see it. Mom, why are you being like this? How am I supposed to show my face to Ella now? This has been so embarrassing for us. What about this is embarrassing? The one that should be embarrassed is Ella. 
How do you bring your parents to meet the parents of the one you want to marry and then just lie to them? If they weren't lies and he's actually a president, then I would have believed him. But what was all that, hmm? How do I believe that? Wait, I, I think the car is coming now. There. What kind of car is that? It's dark out. I can't see it well. Do you know what kind of car that is? Uh, I can't see it very well, but the color is kind of unusual. What color is that? It can't be black. A hybrid. What did you say? A hybrid. That car is a hybrid. Oh my gosh. Hyper what? What is that? It's an expensive car? A $300,000 car. A Bentley hybrid. Bentley? That car? Surely you saw it all wrong. It can't be. It's so dark out. How can you be sure of that? I saw it earlier when we parked. You saw it too. We were saying that we should park far away from it because we didn't want to scratch it, remember? You also had said that the car was very particular. Oh my, he really was a president. How could this have happened? Why did you have to do that? So he actually is a president. Wow, then Hayden can finally get married. They will be able to contribute financially just fine. Well, not owing to the fact that he is a president for a construction business. The car he drives around is extraordinarily expensive. I remember that Ella drives a domestic car. If her father has a lot of money, then he should buy Ella one too, so that means I didn't misunderstand anything. Mom, I told you that car is a Mercedes-Benz. It's a domestic car, yes, but it's as expensive as a foreign model would be. What? Really? You never said that before! That's just because you... Oh, gosh, I should have told you. Gosh, this is all ruined because of you. Why would you put so much weight on how much money they're able to give our family? What did I mess up? Be sure to keep Ella, okay? Well, you're going to be the son-in-law of a president. When was this bestowed on us? I have to tell everyone. Goodness, you're going to be rich. Let me go make a phone call really quick. Wait for me. Mom, please. Dad, are you just going to tell her to do whatever she wants? Please don't say anything right now. I'm seriously considering a divorce after all of this. Jeez, let's just head out first. She can stay and do whatever she wants here. I can't be in front of her anymore. Did you get home okay last night? Your parents were pretty upset, weren't they? I do not want to talk right now. Did you know that is what your mom was thinking? I didn't even know to that extent. I'm really sorry. Are you mad? She repeatedly told them not to lie in front of everybody. Where did that come from? She should have at least had some manners being in such a position. Do you know how many times I had to apologize to my parents? Even then, we don't have any problems between us right now, right? Your father didn't think that was the case either. My mom isn't going to have anything to say from now on. Is that important right now? Do you not have any real thoughts about what happened? Do you think her parents will actually like this marriage? Why do you keep talking so starkly about this? You have a right to be mad, but we can talk about this in a better way. Do you want me to be all up and happy about this? Why are you contacting me right now, huh? Now that you proved that we're rich, we can get married and live happily ever after. Is that the narrative you're trying to push now? I mean, yeah, but... Hey, your mother just verbally assaulted my family history. Accused us of lying and doubting our success. No, I haven't single-handedly contributed to it, but I will not lay back and allow your family to rip apart my father. Why are you yelling? Do you want to go together and apologize? Would that make you feel better? I do not want to see any of your parents right now. You will probably not see my parents again after this. Then what about getting married? Would we just see them at the wedding once to get it over and done with and move on? I can't think about our marriage while I'm feeling like this. I need some time to think, so let's talk later, please. Please do not call me again for the time being. Barbara, I've uncovered something. It seems like I may have been a little hasty with accusing Ella's father of being a member of the dark crime underworld. 
what did you find out? Why do you think you were wrong about that? Well, my husband and I met Ella's parents last night. We got on to the topic of Ella and Hayden's future together, which eventually led to what the father does for a living. I brought up how we passed by one of his construction sites a little while back and that I knew he was in construction. It turns out, though, he's not a construction worker. He's the chief director of the construction company. Or that's what he claims, at least. Who knows if he says who he really is. Oh my, this is quite the turn of events. If he really is the one running that company, that means he must be really loaded. If that's the case, there's still hope for a life of luxury for you. I still haven't decided if I want to believe him or not. He tried handing over a business card, but anyone can just make a business card that says whatever they want on it. I don't want to take that as hardcore proof. I sure did give him a piece of my mind, though. I may be getting up there in age, but nothing slips past Iron Martha. If I know you, I'll take that as you were pretty aggressive toward the two of them, am I right? One must be vigilant in leaving no stone unturned. Sometimes those stones are heavy and they require a certain amount of force to uncover the truth. Wait, did you throw rocks at them or something? I'm not really following what you're saying. It's just a metaphor. Forget that. The main thing I need to do right now is decide whether or not I want to believe the story they've been feeding us. Martha, I know you may not want to hear this, but don't you think you're going a bit too far? How so? I feel I'm well within my right to follow my suspicions, especially if it means protecting my precious son. No, I totally get that, but to me it seems like the evidence showing that he actually is who he says he is is totally outweighing any doubts you may have. In fact, I'm not a lawyer or anything, but it seems like the claims against him being who he says he is are pretty weak. I think your best bet right now is to hedge your bets in favor of believing them. That includes maybe thinking about apologizing first to Ella and then finding a way to say sorry to her parents. Huh, I can't believe now you're against me. It's not that I'm against you, just Think about it. If he really is rich, then apologizing as soon as possible will only increase your chances of getting in good with them and convincing them to spread their wealth. But even if you apologize and they do somehow turn out to be frauds, then you're in the same position you're in now anyway. I'm just saying, apologizing is a win-win for you here. Oh, I suppose you have a point. Fine. I'll give it a few days, then reach out to Ella, I suppose. Why, hello, Ella. How have you been? Quite nice weather today, isn't it? I can't think of one reason why I should be talking to you right now. Why the attitude? Did you not get enough sleep last night or something? Are you kidding me? After everything you pulled the other day at dinner, you're seriously going to ask me what's wrong? You accused my family of lying and insulted them. Anyone would be offended by that. Well, what did you expect? I didn't know that your father owned the construction company. I thought he was just someone who was doing the actual construction. And what would even be wrong with that if he was only a construction worker? It's honest work that you would never be capable of doing. Pardon me? I don't think there's any reason to throw out insults here. Plus, to be honest, I'm still a little weary that your father is who he says he is. Oh my god, I can't believe someone could be so ignorant and rude. Here you go, stupid. I shouldn't assume that you can read, but why don't you take a look at this article? Okay. I don't understand. It's an article for a new luxury department store downtown. Wow, they're planning to have every single high-end brand imaginable. This place is going to be heaven for me. Not like you would know, though, since I don't think you would be able to set foot in there to buy anything. I see you haven't made it to the end of the article yet. Why don't you scroll all the way down to the bottom and tell me what you see? It says the project is expected to be finished by December, and the name of the construction company is R.G. Brothers Construction. What does this have to do with anything? I hope you're sitting down. Why don't you go ahead and Google RG Brothers Construction? Click on the homepage and tell me whose face you see. 
is this? No, it can't be. Your father was telling the truth. And his company is in charge of building this department store? Do you need any more proof my father is who he says he is? Not like it matters at this point because I don't give a damn if you believe me or not anymore. Ella, my sincerest apologies. I had no idea he was telling the truth. You have to forgive me. It's anyone's honest assumption that working in construction would mean being in the lowest rung of society. Ever since we went to that site the other day, I doubted everything. But not anymore. I know your father is the real deal. Too late. I'm done with you and your stupid prejudices. What makes you so special to think you have the right to look down on people? It's absolutely appalling. I think this is a good place to cut off all communication with you. Ella, no, wait. I don't want to end things this way. What about your marriage with my son? Do you think I could get married to someone who is a mother like you? That's obviously not going to happen. You really threw gas on the flame here. I was actually considering ways to make things work, but you just flushed that all down the toilet with this final barrage of hatred. No, this can't be happening. Don't let something I did affect your future marriage with Hayden. I already said I was sorry. Surely something can be done to fix this whole mess? Nope, everything is ruined, and it's all on you. Like I said, I don't want to talk to you anymore, so please leave me alone. I'm going to be blocking your number now, and I don't think there will ever be a reason for me to reach out to you ever again. Ella, wait a second, don't block me! So, you talked to my mom, huh? Yeah, and it didn't go too well. I'm really sorry, Hayden, but I can't do this anymore. Your mom is the worst person on earth to me, and I can't stand the thought of having to be near her at all. It really kills me to do this, but I can't get married to you. Are you sure that there isn't anything we can do to fix this? Just think about this from my point of view. What would you do in my situation? Your mom totally insulted my father to his face. Not only that, I really get the impression that she thought I tricked her or something. Would you be able to deal with something like that for the rest of your life? Not to mention, what could I say to my parents? They're totally insulted and never want to see her again. I love you, and I really wish it didn't have to be this way, but unfortunately it does. I'm sorry, Hayden. I know you're right. I just hate that this is all my mom's fault, and there's nothing I can do to fix it. Well, maybe it's for the best it happened when it did. Your mom is just that kind of person. It would have come out eventually, one way or another. Let's still be friends or keep in touch. You're still a special person to me and I want to keep you in my life. Yeah, okay. Let's just take some time first until everything cools down. I'll talk to my mom about everything. Sounds good. Let me know whenever you're ready to talk. Ella and I broke up. The wedding is off. I want you to know that I hate your guts, and this is all happening because you messed everything up. Are you serious? Why did you break up? Are you actually asking me that? You know damn well why. You insulted her family, and you were extremely rude to Ella. There is no way she wants to see you ever again. Seriously, what is wrong with you? Why does it even matter what her family does? It's not like we're living in some super high echelon of society. Well, to be honest, I thought they were trying to trick us to believe they had money. I felt insulted and took it personally. It was all for you, honey, I swear. Ever since that day in the car, I didn't think her parents could possibly have money with her father working in construction. I even thought her father might be in the mafia. Mom, what the hell are you even saying? You know what? It doesn't even matter anymore. I'm moving out and I want nothing to do with you ever again. You broke up my marriage for the dumbest reason possible. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to forgive you for this. Lose my number. I never want to talk to you ever again. Hayden! No! Please, forgive me. It was all to protect you. I am a grown man that doesn't need any protection. 
Even if I did, I never asked for it. I've made up my mind and I'm not changing it. I'm going to stay with a friend for the time being until I get my own place. Hayden! Wait! Why, hello, Martha. Ella, I can't believe you're texting me. I haven't talked to you or my son in months. How are you doing? Oh, we're doing great, actually. Things have never been better for the two of us. Wait, what do you mean, we? Are you and Hayden talking again? Talking? Oh, we're doing way more than talking. <laughs> Our wedding was last week. I'm actually just texting you to rub it in your face. <laughs> what? You had a wedding? You two got married and didn't tell me about it? How could you? How could we? It was pretty simple, honestly. We just had the wedding and didn't text you about it. <laughs> simple as that. It was such a beautiful wedding, too. All our friends and family were there. Everyone that was important to us was there to spend our special day with us. Which is why you weren't invited. I don't understand. I thought you two broke up. Oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, that was totally an act. We never actually broke up. We just pretended to so we can get as far away from you as possible. We had to make sure that we cut clean away from you to make sure our lives would be happier. And we've both never been happier. Man, we should look into taking acting classes or something. <laughs> we were super convincing, huh? I made sure that Hayden showed you all the texts we had to really drive home that we were breaking up. How could you do such a thing? Don't you feel bad for doing that? Not at all. <laughs> In fact, it was such a good decision and it was Hayden's idea. Man, you really screwed things up, didn't you? I'm actually impressed the effect one person can have, albeit a terrible one. But hey, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? For us, I mean. <laughs> you sound like you're pretty pissed about finding this out. <laughs> Tell me where you two are. I need to see my son. I haven't seen him ever since he moved out when he said I ruined the marriage. You are way dumber than I thought if you think I'm going to tell you where we are. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm his mother for crying out loud. Yeah, about that. I mean, yeah, technically you still are. But he decided he wanted to change his last name to mine after we got married so he didn't need to be reminded that he was related to you. <laughs> I can't believe this. What have you done to him? Me? Oh no, let me remind you that everything that's happened is because you went out of your way to be rude and insult my family. Speaking of my family, they absolutely love Hayden more than ever, by the way. They respected how he stuck by my side and made the choice to cut ties with you so we could be together. My dad loves him so much that he even gave him a job as a manager at his company. Isn't that great? In fact, they're already doing work to open up another new department store and a new high-rise luxury apartment building. He says that it's actually going to be the most expensive one in the city. This is all so crazy. Ella, please let me talk with him. I need to reconnect with him after hearing all this. Just tell me where you are and I can come see you both. Mom, I told you, I never wanted to talk to you again. Hey, honey, is that you? Yeah, it's me. Say what you want and make it short. I really don't want to waste my time talking to you. Hayden, I am so sorry for the way things turned out. I hear you and Ella got married, and I think that's wonderful. I even heard that you're working with her father's prestigious company. I am so proud of you, son. Oh, now her dad's company is prestigious? You don't think he's part of the mafia anymore? No, no, that was all just a misunderstanding. I never thought that at all. You did, and you told me you did. Don't try and go back on the horrible things that you said about Ella's father just because you're realizing how bad they are after the fact. Mom, this is getting nowhere. If I'm being honest, I think you really just want to connect with us again because you know for sure now that her family has money and you want a piece of it, especially now that I'm working with them. Unfortunately for you, that's never going to happen. Our lives are peaceful and we don't need you back in them no matter how sorry you claim you are. Ella is going to re-block your number, so don't bother texting us. And you absolutely better not try to find us. I have no problem calling the cops for harassment. How could you treat your own mother this way? Please don't go. Goodbye, Mom. Have a nice life, and I hope you learned from all of this. Oh, 
I did as I said and blocked Martha again. I really just wanted to rub it in her face that we ended up doing well despite her greedy plans to get money out of my family. We actually didn't even move too far from her. Since Hayden is working with my dad now, he needed to stay nearby. Actually, he's traveling a lot though, so there's little chance he'll run into his mother in the future. I learned later that when word got out initially that his mom broke up our marriage, she was the black sheep in the neighborhood. Pretty ironic, actually, since she was trying to achieve status by getting good with the family originally. I also heard that her husband eventually divorced her from the incident at dinner. Apparently, this wasn't the first time she's embarrassed him in front of other people, and he had had enough. Honestly, though, I hope this teaches her a lesson about judging people. She shouldn't assume things about people just by the type of work they do or the work she thinks they do. Oh well, the past is in the past, and I'm really enjoying this new chapter of my life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more content.